In today's video, we are going to unbox and take a first look at the Quamsi P2 Pro monitor. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials, and if you like this kind of video after watching it, I would be super happy if you want to put a like on the video and maybe also subscribe to this channel. That gives me a ton of motivation to bring out new content moving forward. Over the past few years, I've been testing a bunch of different mobile monitor setups, and Quamsi reached out to me and asked if I wanted to take a look at their P2 Pro, because they figured that this was fixing some of the issues that I've been mentioning in previous videos. Namely that it's sometimes hard to attach monitors to a larger laptop screen. It is hard to move some solutions between different laptops because it's a bit more permanent fixture of the monitor. And also in this case that I have been having problems with running one cable setups because most of the monitors require one cable for each screen if you want to run a triple monitor setup. Enter the Quamsi P2 Pro. This guy can be run off of one single cable and I'm super excited to be able to take a first look at this guy today. Quamsi gave me this monitor to try it out but if you want to buy it at retail there are two different versions. One that has a single screen in it and this guy is retailing at Amazon for $299. The other version is the one we're going to unbox today and this guy is retailing for $599 over at Amazon. There will be a link in the description below if you want to check out these products. Here we have the package the way that it was shipped to me. Let's get right into the box and see what we have inside it. On the front we see the main configuration of the screen. Here it shows us the different ways that we can use the screen. So we have the portrait mode, we have the presentation mode, and then obviously we have the regular mode with the screens out on the sides. It says that this is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 1000 to 1 contrast. We have a refresh rate of 60 hertz, screen size of 13.3 inches, and a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. This part was actually just a bit of a cover piece, so we need to get past this to get into the actual box here. So now when we are with this box, we open it up in the front and then it comes up like that. Here we have a bit of a protective sheet at first. And then we come into the main product here. This has definitely got some weight to it, but it also feels pretty high quality. So while it is relatively heavy, this also adds to the quality feel of it. As you can see here, we have a bit of a screen cover on. Uh, on the bottom side here, we have two USB-C inputs. On the top here, we have the controls. Taking out this other little protector here, we see what else is in the box. We have a protective case, which is a really nice one. Then we have some pretty high quality feeling cables. This is a USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, we have another USB-C to USB-C cable. And then we have a USB-A to USB-C cable. And let's see. Um, yeah, so here we have a USB-C to a double USB-A cable. We also have a little user guide. This one is showing us how to mount the screen onto the laptop and how to get it set up with the different cables. So one of the things that should be a thing with this machine is that it should be able to run off of one USB-C cable. This is something that means we should be able to run two monitors but just with the use of one USB-C port. Something that I've been missing a lot on some other devices similar to this. Let's bring in my Dell Inspiron 16 Plus here and let's try to mount this guy on the Inspiron 16 Plus. Because this is something that I have seen as an issue with some other brands, that it is a bit hard to mount on larger laptops. So let's see how this has been worked out here. The button up top here, you press to release some kind of spring and it actually opens up very wide like this. So now when we have it opened up to that point, let's just try and push it together. And then it sits right there on the 16 plus. So you don't have to do anything else than just pushing the button, releasing the spring. 
and then putting it onto the screen and then pushing it in so that it sticks onto the screen. Then we can fold out the two screens like this. We have the main unit here where you get the monitor signal in. And on this side here we have a bit of a kickstand that can help us uh, to hold the screen and hold the laptop with the extra weight that gets added to it. So the kickstand was pretty straightforward. You just pull it out and then I assume that you're gonna pull this part here. Realize now that on the back here this was actually a tightening screw. So you could adjust the kickstand a lot more than what I thought in the beginning. Then I will set one of the USB-C cables in on the back here. As you can see there, the laptop is balancing quite well when you are using the kickstand behind it. So this seems to be working the way it's intended to. Bringing the cable around to where it is supposed to go. And now since we have the protective layer on here, you won't really see what is going on. So I will need to peel off these protectors and then we'll see what's happening in behind here. Taking that off, it reveals P2 Pro. And right now it says there is no signal in there. So I think I'm gonna switch to the other port to see if the monitor signal actually needs to go into the other port of the screen. I get into a part here where I have to by the looks of it, set up some drivers. But actually then, it immediately kicks in and the monitors are working on both of the sides. However, it is running a duplicated version of this screen. So I'm gonna need to go into the monitor options and see how I can get this to be individual monitors. Applying this and then you can see I can successfully move my window over to the sides here which is pretty cool to see. I am now using a triple monitor setup with a single cable, a single USB-C cable plugged in to my Thunderbolt USB-C port there on the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus. The only thing that is going in on the back here is one USB-C cable into the unit and then it gives me two individual monitors. The kickstand is definitely necessary to use here because it is putting quite a lot of weight on the unit. I feel like this is a great leap forward. Now we finally have two 13 inch monitors that are able to run off of a single cable. Something that I haven't been able to do before and something that would have made it impossible to use this laptop together with a triple monitor setup like this without starting to fiddle around with the HDMI port and then an extra power cable, etc. I gotta say my first impression of the Quamsi P2 Pro is pretty positive. I will be using this guy for a few weeks now and see what I think about it and make a full review out of the product. If there is anything that you want to know about this product during the use time that I will have with it, please let me know down in the comments below and I will make sure to answer that in the review video coming up soon. I hope you have a wonderful start of the new year and that I will see you very soon in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.